For most of recorded history, the Pyramids of Giza were the tallest structures in the world. They reigned for almost 4,000 years until the Lincoln Cathedral was built in London in 1300. Since then, the race for the world's tallest building has become much more competitive with a new contender every few years. Today, we're counting down the top 10 tallest buildings in the world. Though it hasn't held the distinction of the tallest building in the world since 2011, the Taipei 101 has been soaring over Taipei, the capital of Taiwan, for almost two decades. Towering above the city like the gigantic bamboo stalk it was designed to resemble, Taipei 101 is impossible to miss. At 508 meters, Taipei 101 is still the 10th tallest building on Earth. Construction began in 1999 and was completed in 2005. It was built for a total cost of $1.895 billion and remained the tallest building in the world for more than five years. The tower rises from its base in a series of eight-story modules that flare outward, evoking the form of a Taiwanese pagoda. It is also LEED certified and became the largest green building in the world. The 101 floors represent adding one to the number 100, which is considered perfect and auspicious in Taiwanese culture. In other words, the building is meant to be even better than perfect. The eight sections of the tower are a nod to the auspicious number eight, which represents abundance and good fortune in Taiwanese culture. Located at the core of Beijing's new 30-hectare central business district, the China Zun Tower is the tallest building in the capital. The 1,730-foot skyscraper, now the world's eighth tallest, was completed at the end of 2018. It was extremely costly, with a price tag of $3.8 billion. The tower is broader at the base and top than it is in the middle, giving it the appearance of having a tightened waist. The floors, which are square with rounded corners, are 78 meters wide at the tower's base and 69 meters wide on the top floor, while the smallest floor is only 54 meters wide. The shape is based on a zun, a type of wine vessel, rich in symbolic and ritual significance that dates back to the Bronze Age. Traditional zun vessels come in many forms, but they typically have a broad base that tapers in before widening again at the rim. Citic Tower seeks to mimic that shape, an unusual choice of design for a skyscraper, given that most narrow at the top to achieve additional height. Thus, the modern building pays tribute to China's past. Completed in 2019 for an undisclosed sum of money, the Tianjin Center is the eighth tallest building in the world. The design for the Tianjin Center uses undulating curves to subtly express three programmatic elements while presenting a bold monolithic expression on the skyline. The 530-meter-tall skyscraper houses offices, 300 service departments, and a five-star 350-room hotel. The design team also wanted to find a way to minimize the window-to-wall ratio to reduce solar gain and increase insulative value while still providing ample daylight. They ended up with V-shaped mullions that are almost 11 inches wide on the exterior and narrow to a much smaller profile on the interior. The massive structure stands 530 meters tall, with 103 floors, and covers a vast area of 390,000 square meters. The gleaming structure is also a new city brand for the area, showcasing its modern construction technology and commercial vitality. The center has adopted stylish and artistic designs for multiple use functions, as offices, hotels, service departments, and shopping malls, efficiently allocated within the different floors. The city of Tianjin hopes that this building alone will boost the local economy. Continuing the trend of enormous buildings constructed by huge Chinese cities is the Guangzhou CTF Finance Center. The tower was built for $1.8 billion and construction ended in 2016. The seventh tallest building in the world also has the world's fastest elevators, which can zoom to speeds of 47 miles per hour. As China's second tallest structure, the Chao Tai Fuk Finance Center demonstrates the alignment of super tall design with cultural, environmental, and contextual sensitivity. Guangzhou, located on the Pearl River Delta, is a megalopolis of southern China that leads the country in economic power. Completed in 2016, 
The 530-meter-tall CTF Finance Center is the city's tallest building and represents the region's recent prosperity and urban growth. It features four steps in the exterior that denote the changing functions inside the building, while the level of each setback corresponds with varying heights of nearby buildings. Verdant outdoor terraces occupy the top of the indents, offering views across the city in all directions. There are a total of 111 above-ground and five below-ground floors and a shopping mall, offices, apartments, and a direct connection to the underground public transportation center in the building. The Rosewood Hotel opened for the public in spring 2019 and occupies the top 16 floors and podium of the building. Towering over Lower Manhattan in New York City, One World Trade Center is a bastion for government and business and a constant reminder of the tragic destruction of the Twin Towers on September 11, 2001. Finally completed in 2015, the building cost almost $4 billion to construct. About 8,000 people work in the building, mainly for media and tech companies. In addition to 78 floors of office spaces with jaw-dropping views, the building has an employee amenities floor with a cafe and a game room with video game consoles, shuffleboard, and billiards tables. With entrances on all four sides of the building, 1WTC has been designed to smoothly integrate traffic of visitors and office tenants. The cubic base has a footprint identical to the original Twin Towers. The surface of the base is clad in more than 2,000 pieces of shimmering prismatic glass. The tower ascends 69 stories and impresses anyone lucky enough to view the New York City skyline. The crown of 1WTC is a 408-foot spire consisting of a mast and a communication platform ring. At night, a beacon at the top sends out a horizontal light beam which can be seen from miles away. The building itself stands at more than 1,700 feet tall. With 123 floors, the Lotte World Tower in Seoul, South Korea is the fifth tallest building in the world. Lotte World Tower is one of Korea's architectural crown jewels. The tower symbolizes the meeting of the modern with the traditional, nature and cutting-edge technology, and the accomplishments of man. Lotte World Tower contains everything that is necessary for modern urban living. Soaring 555 meters into the air, Lotte World Tower is home to Korea's tallest observation deck, Seoul Sky. Korea's newest luxury landmark hotel, Signiel Seoul, is also located at Lotte World Tower. Also located in the tower is Podium, a multi-floor, multi-purpose space where visitors will find a healthcare center, a fitness center, and a financial center. The tower is home to a few record-breaking components, including the world's highest glass-bottomed observation deck at 500 meters high, the world's highest swimming pool located on the 85th floor, and the world's second fastest elevator, which can transport visitors from bottom to top in one minute. Boasting twice the capacity of a conventional elevator, the tower's lift directly connects the basement and the observation deck, skipping the floors in between, which are full of shopping complexes, offices, and even a seven-star hotel. Coming in at number four is the Ping An Finance Center in Shenzhen, China. Ping An is the physical and iconic center of Shenzhen's growing central business district. With more than 100 floors of office space and a large podium with retail and conference space, the project also connects to neighboring commercial and residential properties and public transportation. Its height comprises 100 office floors above a retail and conference podium, accommodating 15,500 workers and 9,000 daily passengers to an observation deck. And bear in mind that it stands over 1,900 feet tall. Ping An Finance Center stands as a stone and glass tower on the northeast corner of its central site, anchoring the entire development. The structure's stone supports, rendered as chevron-shaped columns, converge at the tower's height and mediate the tension of the earth to a single point in the sky. In Chinese, the words Ping An literally means safe and well. The building is owned by Ping An Insurance and the group occupies a large amount of space in the building. Designed for local weather resistance, the tower's tapered facade reduces wind loads by 40% and its stainless steel piers form a protective net against lightning strikes. With its completion in 2016, Ping An Finance Center is now the tallest building in Shenzhen, the second tallest in China, and the fourth tallest in the world. It was constructed in 2014 for $1.5 billion. 
costing an amazing $15 billion, the Abraj Albait Clock Tower stands at 1,972 feet, making it the third tallest building in the world. Located in the holy city of Mecca, Saudi Arabia, this massive structure looms over the community. Mecca is the holiest place for 1.7 billion Muslim. The building's exact location is also special. It is situated at a place that's only 50 meters away from Islam's holiest site, Kaaba, which is surrounded by the Masjid al-Haram, the largest mosque in the world. For this special location, the authorities even demolished a hill and a fort on it. Its unique location and height make it the city's new landmark. Shooting 26 searchlights 10 kilometers into the skies and blaring its call to prayer 7 kilometers across the valley, the Abraj al Bayt is truly a sight to behold. Encrusted with mosaics and inlaid with gold, it is the most visible sign of the frenzied building boom that has taken hold of Saudi Arabia's holy city over the last 10 years. It is truly indescribable, says Sami Angawi, architect and founder of the Jeddah-based Hajj Research Center who has spent the last three decades researching and documenting the historic buildings of Mecca and Medina, few of which now remain. The central hotel tower, the Mecca Royal Clock Tower, has the world's largest clock face and contains the Clock Tower Museum that occupies the top four floors of the tower. The Shanghai Tower is now, as of 2015, the tallest Chinese skyscraper reaching over 2,073 feet in height after six years of construction. Shanghai Tower has a total construction area of 576,000 square meters, including 380,000 square meters on the ground. It is considered to be the second tallest building in the world and cost a total of $2.4 billion to construct. As a complex, super-tall building, the tower is subdivided into five main functional areas. 24-hour offices for multinational companies and financial services, five-star hotels and support facilities offering personalized service and amenities, high-end retail shops, for example, a recreation zone forming a new business and cultural center in the city, a clear departure from ghost town image of Lujiazwi after working hours, and conference facilities, including sightseeing rooms in upper floors and a multifunction conference center measuring over 2,000 square meters. Awarded the top green rating, LEED Platinum, the government is hailing the tower as a sign of China's growing green credentials. China's sustainability record in the past has been abysmal. The country burns 47% of the world's coal, according to the US Energy Information Administration, and is facing the impact of decades of rapid deforestation and water pollution. With some of the most polluted air on the planet killing as many as 4,000 people a day, an increasingly restive population is demanding more government action. However, the government hopes that the Shanghai Tower is an example of their new commitment to environmentalism. Described as both a vertical city and a living wonder, Burj Khalifa, developed by Dubai-based MR Properties, is the world's tallest building. Rising gracefully from the desert, Burj Khalifa honors the city with its extraordinary union of art, engineering, and meticulous craftsmanship. At 828 meters, the 200-story Burj Khalifa has over 160 habitable stories, the most of any building in the world. The tower was inaugurated on January 4, 2010, to coincide with the fourth anniversary of the accession day of Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum as the ruler of Dubai. Arguably the world's most prestigious address, Burj Khalifa is responsible for a number of world firsts. The tower became the world's tallest man-made structure 1,325 days after excavation work started in January 2014. The Burj Khalifa is also the tallest freestanding structure in the world, has the highest number of stories in the world, the highest occupied floor in the world, the highest outdoor observation deck in the world, the elevator with the longest travel distance in the world, and the tallest service elevator in the world. It's three times as tall as the Eiffel Tower and nearly twice as tall as the Empire State Building. Laid end to end, its pieces stretch over a quarter of the way around the world. This building is truly the epitome of opulence and wealth, with a price tag of over $1.5 billion just for the initial construction.